Okay, welcome to um, episode number five, Mosaic Art Project in Review. And today I choose um, a design which is kind of confusing. It was very confusing to me, which is that one over here, made in 2015 at Gural Premier Belek Resort in Antalya. It's a damn huge hotel. It's a type of mosaic tile art, a type of a mosaic tile art, and we're gonna take a closer look into that project. You can see me something new in this episode, you can see me right here. And um, yeah, let's get into that. Let me just put this down. We're gonna start with the location. So here we have the hotel. Look at that thing. That thing is enormous. It's the whole thing that you see in here belongs to that hotel. So it's one hotel, actually. And um, our stuff was placed right here in this building. Okay. And um, it's, it's a damn huge stuff. Look how many tennis and stuff they have over there. So this is actually, let me go this way, excuse me. This is the place, the location inside that huge hotel. And this is actually where it places it, that mosaic is in this fountain, how you call that? Fontaine, fountain, we say Springbrunnen in German. It's placed over here. And that little stuff, you know, is to like kind of a blurry water and you know that kind of uh, stuff i don't know if people will able to see that mosaic you know i have no clue but um this is where we have made that mosaic we install it into that little small pool what we can call fountain fontaine how you call that stuff what's the word and it's in antalya as I said, you know, see that amazing beach, it's amazing. So let's take a look at the marketing process. Well, the primary marketing, did I did anything to get this kind of order? Actually not. I had a friend who has that one, I have you seen that one video where I showed that one ceramic tile store with tiles from Lamborghini, you know, for 300 euros per piece or something like that. You won't believe, but only this piece costs 183 euros per piece. Holy. So he was actually in that building to promote some stuff which is in, in his market, in his store. And they asked him for a mosaic and, and we know each other. So he came to me with an email saying, can we place and make some mosaic, install some mosaic in this kind of a, a location. And this is how this project arrived. So it's about your environment, your friendship, your family and stuff, you know, people who know that you're making this kind of work uh, is good then because they can bring this type of order right to your studio we, without any efforts. Any in marketing, you know, after you got the order? No, I did anything because it was already my friend. So there was nothing. The, the, oh shit. As you see, the case is Empty. Let's take a look at the design. So I didn't design design anything. That stuff was given to me by the architect. Okay. And I just did one thing which was, you know, this this is the main design. It's a traditional stuff. You know. You will recognize this kind of a stuff here. 
and um, but you see it's square but the mosaic wasn't square we will look into that I just played around with with the lines in here to create uh, this is our or your color board and then I just adhere some piece of this colors that I found you know into that boxes okay and give it and then I gave it to the architect and with my stuff here on you know what I'm saying and th they like this kind of stuff it's cool when you allow people to see the real colors and the thickness of the work you know is it glossy or is it matte or something like that this is the only thing that I made uh, this is a sticker kind of you know a huge sticker and you can glue this on a piece of a plastic you know how you call that okay um, this this is a huge kind of a sticker you can use some this plexiglass how you call that what's the word you know in thickness like four millimeters and you can stick this on it and then you can glue your adhere your sam tile samples on it in this boxes right here you know and then you can just um, you can just give it to the architect or to your project project owner it's kind of a nice communication you know okay that was about the marketing let's go into the damn that was marketing that's correct that was kind of a marketing I'm sorry that's kind of a it's kind of a marketing and you can see the design as well this was the design case so we have all in one somehow now we're going to take a look at the workshop let's check out the workshop material used to create the mosaic project we have a lot of I call it evidence I don't know why seems like an investigation to me you know checking out all the stuff that you made very wrongly uh, come on okay here we go now it's cold we're gonna start with that picture here okay you see this are first of all what we see in here we see that mosaic mesh okay and here we have the drawing can you see that here right here below the mesh is the painters plastic and then we have the main drawing enlarge it to um, in sizes to fit on that um, to fit on you know where it's gone where it's gonna install it that's the paper so here we have tiles these are pool tiles okay because we're gonna put this thing in a pool kind of a fountain fountain brunnen in German you know and so the water absorption is not that much when you use pool tiles okay you cannot just come up with regular tiles and you know install it in a pool you will have trouble why you will have trouble let me explain when that tile is absorbing that water in the pool then um, I don't know how to call it your, your adhesive which is on the back side of this tile will get you know in chemical reaction okay are you with me it's as simple as that so that's a laser we're going to talk about that later on and here is also you see it's always good to have a colored piece of the design on paper so you can follow you know the colors it's getting quite confusing sometimes here is another photo okay you can see how i'm following the lines right here okay and that's here we have again mosaic mesh I don't know why I have this kind of a color I don't know 
Another picture. Oh my god, here. Yeah. We're gonna talk about this later on. So the work is going on. It's running, I mean. Okay, here is a piece of um, the drawing in color. Okay. So I started to fill, you know, these empty areas in a quite easy style, you know. I just cut them, you know, in size and, and I break them, kind of. You can see how they fit correctly. And then I just broke them, I believe. Okay. Here's a box. The box is, in this case, you know, when you, when you use your nipper, and you have this kind of uh, teeny tiles, you know, laying around on this mosaic mesh and stuff, you can't get them out. You know, when you want to glue your tiles, stick your tiles on a mesh and you have this, this really teeny tiles here on your mesh, that's a problem. So that's why that time I used this a lot, this box. It's also good to use it in your house when you have kids around, you know, cats and stuff, so you won't have this really teeny tiles laying on the floor and stuff like that. In this case, we don't want to have this really small tiles laying here on our mosaic mesh. So the stuff is running. As you see, the shape of the pool, I want to call it pool, it's fountain, is like going that way and that way, that way. It's not, you know, a rectangle or a, 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 a how you call that? square or something it's just like a different kind of a form you can see it in here it goes like this and like that and up and up like that so you can see how I filled the, the uh, empty spaces here with this ceramic tiles okay yeah and here not much change Okay. Next. Oh, it's. I start to feel. You, you see, here is more like randomly tiles. And this is actually where it gets confusing a bit because colors are going in slowly, slowly. You can. You, you know why to put tiles like that? Because they are wet you know these ceramic boxes these are huge tiles by the way mostly laying somewhere in not in the store they are laying somewhere out the store you know at the outside and they get wet so wet tiles won't stick you know somewhere so you're gonna put them like that because you don't you want you will have that water you know, like, like come out from this uh, ceramic tiles. This is why they are looking like that. Here are the boxes and stuff. Uh, not much change in here. Oh, that color, that orange just starts to coming in. And you see, I will talk about this in a few minutes. Okay, you see here is a heater. Excuse me. That's a heater, right? So I put the tiles that in that direction because when ceramic tiles getting, you know, warm, then that water inside will come up. In here it's, you know, particularly. Oh my God! Look at this doing, and then you know it goes like point point. We're gonna talk about that. One thing you can see the difference of the thickness, right? Look at that, it's almost generating a shadow. Got that 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 orange thing, that orange color ceramic tile is very thick, and the pool tiles are not thick. Okay. And here is where the the laser comes in, you know, you see it's dark, so it's getting dark, 
I believe it's the same day. And you will need kind of a, a laser, you know, to follow the lines correctly. Because this is a very confusing shape, actually, you know. It's not easy to follow because it's like, you know, this is the half of it. So it must be fit correctly. It goes straight all the way. This is like something like three meters or so. Okay, that's why I'm using a laser. We're going to talk about that later on. So right here, mosaic nipper, ceramic mosaic nipper. And everything looks not bad from a distance. That's an angel mosaic. We're going to talk about that later on. Okay, nothing much to say. But I can say almost, you know, the drawing is like, the work is like half done. It looks to me like half done.